in um, 1969, OAU, which is the Organization for African Unity, uh, it was founded in 1963, but in 1969, it adopted the 1951 Convention relating to the status of refugees, but expanded it to its refugee uh, situation. The 1951 Convention defined refugees as someone who fled the country for a well-founded fear of persecution because of race. Uh, religion, nationality, uh, membership to a particular social group or uh, a political opinion and who are not able to return back or not willing to return back to their country of origin. So the 1969 OAU Convention adopted this uh, definition and expanded it to uh, someone who, individuals who have left their country owing to external aggression, occupation, uh, external domination, and also uh, uh, who have left their country because uh, the public order uh, is disrupted partly or as a whole in the country. Um, this means uh, refugee, like people who have fled their country because of generalized war, violence, um, are considered without having a well-founded uh, fear because of the five things that I have listed. There was a situation during the Rwandan genocide, 200,000 people entered uh, the country, Tanzania, in a day, in one post. So during this kind of situations, it's they are um, considered on a prima facie basis, which means they're uh, considered on a group basis. But for individuals who have fled their country because of their race, religion, uh, nationality, or a particular membership to a particular social group or political opinion, there is another set of uh, procedure. They have to go through a lengthy uh, interview. First of all, it's the country's mm, responsibility to handle those cases. But UNHCR also advocates and supports when uh, there is a gap in this process. So individuals who are compelled to leave their country are protected by these conventions.